Welcome back. Today we're exploring the Flipper Zero, the ultimate Swiss Army knife for hackers and tinkerers. This pocket-sized multi-tool interacts with RFID, NFC, remotes, and more, letting you uncover the hidden tech all around us. We'll dive into 10 Flipper Zero hacks you probably haven't seen, breaking down how they work and the ethical boundaries to keep in mind. Let's kick off with a classic, hotel key cards. If you've ever checked into a hotel, you've probably used one of these slim plastic cards to get into your room. They feel high tech, but the reality is, many of these systems are surprisingly outdated. Many hotels still rely on old, low-frequency RFID systems that were designed years ago, long before modern hacking tools became so accessible. These cards are convenient for guests and staff, but their security is often stuck in the past. Enter the Flipper Zero, a pocket-sized device that can read and emulate these cards in seconds. What once required specialized equipment is now possible with a tool that fits in your palm. All it takes is holding the flipper near your key card, capturing its data, and saving it to the device. The process is quick, silent, and leaves no trace for the average hotel guest or staff to notice. With just a tap, the flipper can emulate the card, unlocking the door if the system hasn't been updated. It's a powerful demonstration of how vulnerable some access systems remain. This isn't magic, it's simply exploiting outdated technology that was never designed to withstand today's threats. Many hotels don't realize how easy it is for someone with basic tools to bypass their security. The real lesson? These vulnerabilities are exactly why hotels are moving to encrypted NFC cards and mobile keys which are much harder to clone or hack. The industry is slowly catching up but not every property has made the switch. For security professionals, the Flipper is a quick and effective way to audit and expose weak access systems. It's a tool for raising awareness and helping hotels identify where they need to improve. But remember, always get permission before testing. This is about education and awareness, not exploitation or causing harm. Responsible disclosure helps everyone stay safer. Tools like this help hotels upgrade their systems before real threats appear giving them a chance to stay ahead of potential attackers and protect their guests. It's a tangible reminder. Physical security is only as strong as its weakest technology. Staying up to date isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity in today's world. Garage door remotes, convenient but often insecure. The Flipper Zero's sub-GH its transceiver can record and replay signals from older fixed code remotes. Use the frequency analyzer to find your remote's channel, then capture the signal. Replay it, and the garage opens. Simple as that. Modern openers use rolling codes, which block this attack, but many homes still rely on outdated tech. This is a wake-up call for homeowners. Upgrade your security. For pen testers, it's a fast way to demonstrate real-world vulnerabilities. The flipper isn't just a hacker's toy, it's a tool for safer homes. Remember, never use this on systems you don't own. Outdated tech is an open door, literally. Let's get creative. Turn your Flipper Zero into a digital business card. Program your contact info into a V-card, load it onto the Flipper, and emulate it as an NFC tag. Now, a simple tap transfers your details to any smartphone. No paper, no hassle. It's a slick, memorable way to network and shows off your tech skills. Setup is easy. Create a V-card, drag it to the flipper, and you're ready. This isn't just a party trick. It's practical, eco-friendly, and impressive. You'll never fumble for a business card again. The flipper bridges the gap between old-school networking and modern convenience. Make your first impression unforgettable. Wireless doorbells are everywhere. Chances are, you or someone you know has one installed right now. They're convenient, modern, and have become a staple of smart homes and apartments across the world. But did you know they're also surprisingly easy to sniff with the Flipper Zero? This pocket-sized device can interact with a huge range of wireless gadgets, including your doorbell. Start by using the frequency analyzer to scan the airwaves and pinpoint the doorbell's unique signal. Once you've found it, you can capture the transmission with just a tap. 
With the captured code, you can replay it to ring the bell remotely. No need to be anywhere near the button. Or, save the signal to your flipper zero and use it to monitor when someone's at your door, adding a new layer of awareness to your home. Want to take it further? Connect the flipper's GPIO pins to external devices, like LED lights or buzzers, and trigger them whenever the doorbell rings. You can even set up notifications on your phone so you'll never miss a visitor, even if you're in another room or have headphones on. Sure, it can be used for a harmless prank, but there's so much more potential here. This is the heart of DIY home automation, using affordable tools to make your environment smarter and more responsive. The flipper lets you listen to the invisible signals all around your home, revealing a hidden world of wireless communication. With just a little creativity, you can turn a simple doorbell into a smart sensor, unlocking new ways to understand and interact with your environment. The possibilities are endless when you can hear the wireless world. So start exploring and see what you can create. Think about all the places you go every day, your office, the gym, your apartment. Chances are you use RFID cards or fobs to get in, these are your digital keys, quietly unlocking doors and granting access with a simple tap. The Flipper Zero is a pocket-sized device that can read and emulate many unencrypted RFID and NFC cards, revealing just how vulnerable some access systems really are. All it takes is holding a card to the Flipper, saving the digital ID, and then emulating it to unlock doors, sometimes in seconds. It's a powerful demonstration of how easily digital keys can be copied if security is weak. While modern access cards use encryption to protect against cloning, many offices, gyms, and apartment buildings still rely on outdated technology that's easy to bypass. Security professionals use the flipper not just to clone cards, but to test for advanced vulnerabilities, making it an essential tool for thorough security audits and penetration testing. With the Flipper, you can quickly check if your building's access control is up to date or if it's relying on outdated, easily compromised systems. It's a fast, efficient way to spot weaknesses before they become real problems. Remember, always get proper permission before testing any access system. The goal is to help organizations fix flaws, not to exploit them or cause harm. By using tools like the Flipper Zero, organizations can identify and patch security holes before attackers have a chance to take advantage. It's about staying one step ahead. Don't let your digital keys be the weakest link in your security chain. Upgrade and audit regularly to keep your spaces safe. The Flipper Zero's IR transceiver turns it into a universal remote for TVs, ACs, and more. Use the built-in library to control thousands of devices or teach it new remotes by recording their signals. Prank friends by turning off TVs in public, or just consolidate all your remotes into one. It's fun, but also genuinely useful if you lose a remote at home. The Flipper bridges old and new tech, letting you control legacy devices with ease. It's a tool for convenience, or chaos, if you're feeling mischievous. Just remember, use it responsibly. Sometimes, the best hacks are the ones that make life easier. One device, endless control. Can the Flipper Zero unlock cars? Not really, at least, not modern ones. Old cars with fixed code fobs are vulnerable, but nearly all vehicles today use rolling codes, making simple replay attacks useless. The Flipper can demonstrate why rolling codes matter, but it's not a car thief's tool. More advanced attacks exist, but they require extra hardware and expertise. The real value here is education, understanding how car security has evolved. Don't believe the hype. Modern cars are safe from basic Flipper attacks. Use this knowledge to appreciate not exploit security advances. Ever seen a metallic button on a keychain? That's an eye button, used for access and tracking. The Flipper Zero can read and emulate basic eye buttons with its pogo pin connector. Just press the eye button to the Flipper, save the ID, and emulate it to unlock doors or log events. Many systems only check for a valid ID, making them easy to clone. 
Security pros use the flipper to audit these systems and recommend upgrades. It's a reminder, even physical contact systems can be vulnerable. The flipper covers every corner of access control. The Flipper Zero isn't just for specific hacks, it's a radio explorer. Scan the sub-GHZ spectrum to discover signals from weather stations, sensors, toys, and more. Capture unknown signals, analyze them, and replay to see what happens. This is digital archaeology, uncovering the hidden language of your environment. The Flipper encourages curiosity and experimentation turn radio noise into knowledge, and maybe even control. It's a powerful tool for learning how the wireless world works. Discovery is just a scan away. To scan. Want to go further? The Flipper Zero supports custom scripts for automation. Write Flipper scripts to chain actions, like jamming a TV, then turning it off, all with one button. Use bad USB mode to automate tasks on a computer, typing commands at lightning speed. This transforms the flipper from a toolkit into a programmable platform. Automate, experiment, and create your own hacks. If you can imagine it, you can script it. The flipper is as powerful as your creativity. That's 10 Flipper Zero Hacks, Beyond the Basics. From security testing to creative networking, this device is a platform for learning and exploration. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always act ethically and legally. Use these tools to make the world safer, not riskier. If you enjoyed this deep dive, subscribe for more tech and security content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.